What's up, my fellow investors? My name is Mike. This is John. And we are Crypto Logic, the number one podcast that keeps you informed on what, how, and most importantly, why to invest in cryptocurrency. Now, our channel is basically based off of beginners. We like to help you guys out because we are beginners ourselves. So today we're going to be talking about the top crypto lingo that you need to know. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before we dive into the actual content, I kind of want to let you guys know about the different type of coins, and then we're going to hop into the lingo. So the first coin that I want to talk to you guys about is fundamental coins. Now, John, in your opinion, what are fundamental coins? Um, fundamental coins are going to be coins that have a real use case or a real world solve. Um, they're designed to basically impact the world. So basically what fundamental coins are is the coins that are you're going to invest in long term those are not going to be coins that you're just going to get in and get out like the next topic that we're talking about meme coins or for lack of a better word shit coins uh those Language. are <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> for all of my younger generation i do apologize you know what i'm saying but you know that's what they're called i mean you could call it pump and dumps as well but you know what i'm saying i just had to give you guys that lingo right so uh meme coins and pump and dumps are basically coins that in my opinion you will make your money off of right so the fundamental coins are going to make you wealthy in the long term and meme coins and pumping up coins are the coins that are going to make you rich in a sense right because you can put a hundred dollars into a pump and dump and it could potentially go up to a thousand two thousand three thousand a million whatever that number might be um so that's why i always say um, if you're going to get into meme coins, that's what's going to make you rich and fundamental coins is what's going to actually make you wealthy. So the next one we're going to be talking about is altcoins. So I'm going to let John go ahead and explain what and what is an altcoin. So altcoins are alternative cryptocurrencies that were launched after Bitcoin success. Bitcoin was created in 2009. So anything that was created after Bitcoin is considered an altcoin. So with that out of the way, we're actually just going to start diving into the crypto terms. So one of them is a, called a maximalist. So if you ever hear that term just out on the bout or on YouTube or anything like that, a maximalist is a person that's basically a diehard fan of a specific cryptocurrency the next one that we're going to talk about is diamond hands john what is diamond hands <laughs> when someone says bro i got diamond hands what do they mean that means your mans are made of diamond you don't hold you don't sell you hold hodl, hodl which is all which stands for hold on for dear life diamond hands you let nothing slip through these hands you purchase a token you hold on to it forever forever until you think it's time to sell or whatever but right. some some instances they never sell some yeah, people true. will never sell so i mean the early adopters of bitcoin didn't yeah. sell they're they're diamond handed yeah they're that, diamond that just handed. means you don't let it, your tokens go you don't care if it goes up you don't care if it goes down it does not affect you, you emotionally at all You're like you just buy more you buy more you buy more and that leads us to the <laughs> leads us to the next one <laughs> buy the dip <laughs> everybody wants you to buy the dip now what does that actually mean right so when a uh, coin is actually in a downtrend or tr trading sideways and then it dips down and it goes red that's what buy the dip is you want to buy it when it's red so it can shoot back up to green when it's green we're golden when it's red blood in the streets buy more buy the dip that's where the name came from pretty simple the next one is tokenomics what is tokenomics john so tokenomics is basically the economics behind the token or the exchange. I mean, the uh, blockchain. Um, basically, what it is is um, questions that refer to that are how many coins or tokens are exist within that, um, that cr cryptocurrency. How many will exist in the future? How many will be created? How many will be burned? Burned means um, deleted in a sense. So tokenomics so basically is, is kind of understanding what the coin is about and if you should really invest in yeah. that coin right yep it's the yeah. economics of the there we go now when you hear the word community obviously it's kind of self-explanatory community when you get into any type of coin especially all coins you want to find out if it has a community you don't want to get into these pump and dump coins that don't have a community don't have a twitter don't have a uh discord don't have a telegram don't have nothing they're just fly by night they come in there's a couple three, people talking, three people about, talking it. about it you know yeah. oh to the moon to the need moon. to hear yep. and then next thing you know you put your money into it and bop, it's gone i'm just saying i'm just saying 
Very important. Community is very, yeah, very important. You need important. to hear from other people that have invested in, into it. Exactly. And if there's a family regarding it, how strong, if this, if this family is really strong and a lot of people are saying the same thing in a sense where it's like, hey, it's safe to get in. Like we've been in, we've been in some this price, et cetera, et cetera. Then you can kind of feel in and if they welcome you in part of the community, that means that that project is being taken seriously. And then they're trying to make it better in a sense, depending on if it's new or if it's in the middle of the road or if it's already hit its peak or not. You just, you just want to want to know how the community is holding up. Exactly. Now, the next one is going to be utility versus speculative. Now, utility is basically, how can I put this in simpler terms? Help me out, John. I'm drawing, I'm drawing a blank here. So, <laughs> utility, uh, basically a utility market or utility token is something that if, is it designed to help change the world? The, whatever the coin is designed to do, how is it going to affect the world moving forward? What's its purpose? What is its use case? What is it designed to do? A speculative market or a speculative token means that people are just wondering, okay, this thing might do this. It, it's it's exactly. supposed to be this way. It's supposed to do this. So it's all just sort of like an a hypothesis. You're, all you're, up in the air. Yeah, like, okay, we, we think that this token is gonna do is gonna be good because it's gonna do this. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to invest in it. Utility is, oh, it's already doing this. So I'm investing into it. So utility is obviously something that's much more concrete because it's being used for what it was created for now when you invest into meme coins these are the kind of terms that you're going to hear when you actually invest into pump it dumps meme coins things of that nature if you go into like a discord or a telegram or something and someone says oh man i just got rug pulled well you might be thinking in your head like well what the heck is a rug pull basically what a rug pull is is a bunch of people hyping up a coin like when we just talked about the community there's a bunch of people just hyping it up oh get into this one it's going to the moon it's going to the moon don't wait don't wait and you hop in there and then the creator of the coin basically pulls the rug from underneath you or takes all of his money out of that cryptocurrency and just drops the price now you're stuck Early holding this bag yeah. and there's nothing you can't sell it because no one's gonna buy it it's just a complete wash you basically lost money now that actually happened to me recently with a, a pump and dump coin and i didn't look at all the tokenomics i didn't look at all of the data one of uh, my good buddies was just like hey bro I'm, I'm making some money on this hop in and that should have been a red flag from from the jump so if you guys hear that man just you know be mindful do your tokenomics and uh you know make sure you're actually investing into a uh, a solid project in the next video we're probably going to be talking about you know how to actually spot these type of projects how to spot hidden gems and things like that so definitely look out for that video the next one which is the opposite of diamond hands is paper hands john paper hands is basically people that when they see red they sell or when they hear bad news they sell um they just kind of do what everyone else is doing so they buy in everything's going great but then all of a sudden it dips a little bit down 10 percent five percent 15 percent like oh i gotta sell a little bit i gotta sell a little bit <laughs> they sell out and then they're like oh i'll wait for it to go up or i'll wait for it to go back down then i'll buy back in or there's some people that will buy in if it dips they wait for it to go back up to break even then they sell right away it's just it's just weird they they, they think of sell rather than buy more so that's yeah. paper hands with people that just freak out <laughs> yeah <laughs> paper hands you never want to be a paper hand investor like yeah just never go buy a lottery ticket like this last listen <laughs> when when bitcoin did his his dip and it, it was blood in the streets it was everywhere it was just red 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 and everything red. was on sale but they all to, to most people a lot of stuff was on sale we was like man i'm buying this dip ah huh? see there you go we're using the t keywords right there we bought the dip man and as you can see in your portfolios today, if you held, if you had diamond hands, you should see your portfolio back green again. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one we're going to be talking about is FOMO. Bro, what is FOMO? Fear of missing out. Woo! So the euphoria. Those are those people that freak out like, oh man, I gotta get in. Yeah, oh they, they want to make some money. They see <laughs> their friend making money. Some guy put in 10 bucks and now he's at 120 bucks in 15 minutes. He's like, ah, look at this, look. And then they're like, oh, I got to put in, I got to put in 500 bucks right now. And it's, man. Just, they scramble, they scramble. They're trying to figure out how, how to invest into it. What did you do? What did, what coin is it? What's the name of it? What's the contract address? Oh, what's the wallet address? Oh, yeah, dude. They're trying to figure out how to get in because they don't want to miss out. They want to miss out on the hype. Just as a tip for, for people who or want to FOMO into a project. When you see a line go straight up to the moon, what does physics tell you it's gonna do? 
what goes up must come down so just wait for it to go down someone's gonna say oh bro it. once it's it goes up once yeah. it goes up it's not coming down it's not coming down you better hop on you better hop on and you hop on you fomo in and you buy at the top very very top <laughs> up here up here look, 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 look. You, you think you it's gonna keep here, going and it goes Meh. and then you get paper hands and go oh, i gotta sell i gotta sell and you lose all your money it's over bro i'm just telling you right now bro you're gonna lose the majority of your money on meme coins i'm just letting you know right now now <laughs> with that being said man what is fud when you go into a, a twitter uh you know a twitter page and you see a bunch of people putting out fud what is fud but is uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So they, basically, the terminology is they fud the market. <laughs> they fud. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> they, they fud the market. So that means that they confuse you, they distract you with something, other news. They say some things that may or may not be true, but you start thinking, second guessing your investment. So that's that's a lot of terminology that's used for people who are trying to manipulate the market in a sense so they try to put fud in oh it's it's gonna tank it's gonna tank using bad words like that like it's gonna flop yeah. it's gonna or you're crash. gonna lose all of your money you're lose your money yeah this token's gonna be banned it's gonna be you know it's a pump and dump like they just throw things at it they, they find little articles or they create it's just a bunch of crap that makes you uncertain about your investment to manipulate the market and there's a lot of that going on and going it's forward a lot of foot, we yeah. will be breaking down you know news for our favorite tokens and and all and the cryptocurrency space in general so yeah. definitely so if you guys aren't subscribed yet subscribe put the little, <laughs> the little button where does it go uh it goes anywhere <laughs> uh so the next one we're going to talk like, about is right whales there. what is whales and we're not talking <laughs> about the ones in the actual ocean if you ever hear someone say i'm a whale i'm a whale they have a lot of tokens they're not saying that they're a whale in the ocean they're saying <laughs> they own a big bag in this in this actual cryptocurrency so that's what they mean by whales now another one that i want to talk to you guys about is house money now a lot, that term house money doesn't make sense and it seems like it's a logical term like it's just common sense that you're just supposed to know but a lot of people don't know what house money is so john please that inform them yeah, so house money would apply to an exit strategy. So an exit strategy would just be um, having a plan for your investment. So house money would be whatever you put in, let's say you put in $100 and then it triples. So now your, your $100 turned to $300. So being on house money means that you take out your initial investment of $100. So now you have $200 left, which is house money. So from there, now you can have fun. You can, you know, your $100 is back in your pocket. That two hundred dollars is all house money. It doesn't matter if it goes up, doesn't matter if it goes down. So from there, you can just have some fun and watch it grow or watch it fall. But if it falls, you didn't technically didn't lose anything. Right. So it's it's safest way to invest initially is just to make sure you get your house money out. Um, and then there's obviously other tricks and, and what tricks and rules of the trade. But yeah. that's the most initial basic strategy that you know we think is. Yeah, how, the house money investment. strategy, man, honestly, is is one of the better strategies. There's there's a couple of them um, that we're going to go into detail about just so you guys can understand. And, you know, building an exit strategy is very, very important, especially when, you know, being involved in meme coins and pumping dumps. You have to be house money when you're dealing with these coins. Like, for example, uh, Shiba Inu. I invested in a Shiba Inu. I don't remember how much money I put into it, but I put in a, a decent amount, right? And at the time, I was asleep. I woke up because my phone was going bzz, 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 bzz. And I looked at my phone and Shiba Inu doubled. So I took my initial investment out and I was just on house money. And before you're on house money, you have to like constantly look at it, bro, because you're freaking out like, oh, I don't want to lose my money. Oh, did I buy at the top? Did I do this? Did I buy the dip? Like, I need to know. And you're freaking out until you get on house money. Once you hit house money, you're golden. You're good. You you almost don't even have to check the chart any longer. Just yeah. because if it goes up, amazing. I'll pull more profits. If it goes down, all right. Normally, <laughs> when, you, when you see people start talking to you about any token, maybe that specific token that they, they've never spoke about, that might be the time for you to sell. Yeah. That's the euphoria. That's the FOMO. So if they're hitting you up, say, hey, you hear about the Shiba? And you get a little ding in your head like, oh, I was already in Don't FOMO. <laughs> Don't FOMO. That, that's when you should be selling because that's when it's it's going up and that's when you should be selling. That's another. He's going to be selling. Yeah. As soon as you buy in, he's going to sell right there because you are the one that's making him the profit. Yeah. So if you're if you're if you're if you're a house money and then you start hearing everyone talk about that token, that's the good time to start kind of looking at 
your charts and saying, okay, when's a good time to pull some profits? There you go. From now, there. the next two are very, very important. You're gonna hear them literally everywhere. And that's bull market and bear market. John, take it away. So bull market is basically when everyone's in a bullish mood. Um, it obviously applies to the traditional stock market. Bull market is everyone's aggressively trying to um, purchase tokens and move forward. And, and that's when the hype is there and everyone it's, it's a, a it's a vicious cycle it's, everything it's is green. fun yeah everything is green everything is going in little dips here and there but that's when everything is is green. essentially like yeah green and go time we, we <laughs> see, we've seen a mini we've seen a mini bear market this uh, yeah these last couple of days when your account Deutsch, was red Deutsch, Deutsch coin started, when everything was red that was like a mini bear market that yeah. would be an example of what a bear market like is a hibernation a bull market is. was not necessarily what we're seeing now but what we've seen before we hit that mini bear market so those are just some of the words that uh you know key terms that we wanted to talk to you guys about there is a ton and ton more uh you know we got we got about decentralized centralized smart contracts wallet contracts all kind of trading sideways there's so many lingo words but honestly those are the ones that you can get by when you're fresh and new when you can go to any sit at any table and understand yeah. what people are kind of talking about all right so thank you guys all so much for watching we do hope you guys found some value in today's show if you did go ahead and smash that like button hit the subscribe button if you enjoy cryptocurrency and we'll see you in the next one all right peace